Hello and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel, you beautiful lot. And today we are talking windscreen coatings. Hello and welcome back. And that is right, we are talking windscreen coatings. We are talking specifically. Glaco from Soft99. Now, Soft99 sent me out a little bit of a package. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, go check it out. The Instagram tag's there, detailing underline THH. Go check it out. I drop all sorts of photos of products that are coming up on there. And also, go find me on Facebook. Type in The Hairy Housewife, and I'll pop up on Facebook. Also, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. It keeps the channel going. Now, again, we are talking Soft 99 windscreen coating. Now, I've seen this coating in for sale from anywhere between $12.99 upwards. Now, you can buy this coating alone. However, I would always recommend, as do Soft 99, also buying the windscreen polish compound to prep the windscreen before using the Glaco sealant. So, we're going to just jump straight in. We're going to see how these products work. We are going to start off with the Soft 99 polish. As you can see, it is a nice design. It's a nice black handle. Also, that is where the polish is stored inside the unit. As you can see, as I take the lid off, you have a nice polishing pad and a little hole where the polish comes out of. Now, you want to start off by lifting up your windscreen wipers. We'll get to those a little bit later on. On this vehicle, it is absolutely ridiculous how these windscreen wipers work. And then you want to apply it to the windscreen. Now, what you want to do is just give it a little bit of a squeeze as you push it down to the windscreen, not too hard because a lot does come out with a little squeeze. I've done it in a few places on the vehicle and a lot did come out and it's just a waste of polish, basically. Um, I'm going up and down and also left and right in a cross hatch pattern. You can go in small circles. However you want to do it, just make sure you coat the full windscreen to remove any contamination, any sealants from spray sealants that may be left over, and any dirt and grime that's left over after the washing stage. Now, what you want to do is you want to rub it onto the windscreen or window until you see it sort of haze. What you'll do is when you put it on, you'll see it separate, a bit like a hydrophobic effect. What you want to do is keep going over it until you see it hydrophilic, so it's sticking to that windscreen. You know that area is prepped and ready for the Glaco windscreen sealant. Now I'm going over again, up and down, left and right, to make sure I cover the whole windscreen with this polish. However, I do have an issue, and again, we'll come back to it a little bit later on, with the windscreen wipers. This vehicle has a stupid thing called valet mode. Basically, when the windscreen wipers are down, you can't lift them up because they hit the bonnet. So you have to put me in valet mode, which lifts them up a few inches. Um, and then when you do that, you've got like this little metal arm that gets in the way of everything basically now you could sort of polish that bit when the windscreen wipes down and lift them up i didn't think of that at the time i just got very very annoyed that they were in the way and i sort of just went round them now we have that windscreen fully coated i'm going to leave it around about five to ten minutes just to let that sort of compound haze ready to be rinsed off now you can remove any of this excess compound with a microfiber cloth i've seen some people do that i'm following the instructions on the back of the packet and i'm rinsing it off with the hose pipe and as you can see, with the hose pipe, it is rinsing off really, really easy. That compound is not sort of stuck to the windscreen. It is rinsing off really, really nicely with the pressure of a hose pipe. However, I got a little bit lazy. I got a little bit fed up of rinsing it off with the hose pipe. Even though the hose pipe was doing a cracking job, I decided to think, let's give it a crack with a pressure washer. What a mistake that was. As you can see, I'm rinsing it off with the pressure washer and it is coming off really nicely. It's coming off a lot easier and a lot quicker than it did with the hose pipe. But don't be tempted to do this yourself because once the vehicle dried, all that polish that was on the windscreen was all over the roof, all over the side of the windows, all over the car, and it made an absolute mess. So unless you're going to wash the vehicle again after doing the windscreen sealant, um, I wouldn't suggest it. And I mean, why would you? If you're sealing your windscreen, you've already washed the vehicle. Now, before I did this, I'd already pre-washed the vehicle. So I was a little bit fed up when I come out later on the evening and see compound everywhere. And I had to give it another wash. Um, but as you can see, the pressure washer did do a cracking job at removing that leftover polish. 
there are two patches on the vehicle that are hydrophobic where you can see that i last used kkd purity x on the vehicle and it sort of left that hydrophobic layer and you can see that's what i'm talking about i couldn't get to those patches because of the windscreen wipers being in the way at the time however i'm not really that bothered those two little patches at the bottom of the windscreen they're not really in the view of the driver if you wanted to you could pop the windscreen wipers down and polish over those areas but i am really not that fussed um, and it also won't affect where the glaco goes on because again you don't see out that part of the windscreen now one thing i would like to just say about this polish is obviously the lid that goes on isn't airtight now if you want to clean it out all you've got to do is undo the little plastic knob at the top the head will pop off and all you need to do is rinse that out with water and it is ready to go next time and it saves all that polish and compound drying in the head and making it unusable when you want to use it next time round. all you've got to do is pop that back on and you are ready to go on to the glaco windscreen sealant now all you need to do with this is just pop the lid off and away we go it's again the same as the polish there's a little bit of a hole in the top and a foam pad all you need to do is pop it down onto the windscreen and give it a little squeeze now make sure you apply this in nice even coats you don't want any nasty high spots that are impossible to remove again make sure you get a nice even coat over that whole windscreen we're going to do this now for you on double speed just so you don't get bored of watching me seal my windscreen And there we have it now that is applied to the windscreen now depending on the weather and how warm the temperature is outside depends sort of how long you want to leave it um, i'm leaving it for around about five to ten minutes as they say in the instructions sometimes it could be close to five minutes but i like to leave it closer to 10 minutes just so i know it's cured properly now what you want to do is you want to dampen up a microfiber cloth to give the windscreen a good buffing over There we have it. That is the Glaco glass polish and the Glaco glass sealant applied and buffed off. Now, I get asked a question about glass sealants all the time. Does it make your windscreen wipers shudder? Let's find out. So here we have the windscreen wipers. All I've done is give them a quick wipe over and clean over. And we have the windscreen bone dry and on go the wipers. And there you have it, no judder whatsoever. The glass is looking nice, glossy, and clean. Now, how hydrophobic is this product? Let's find out. Now, as you can see, it is very, very hydrophobic. You can see that water just running straight off the windscreen. It doesn't want to stick around. Now, if I compare that to the windscreen, after I'd polished it, you can see, after I polished it, it was very hydrophilic. You can see that water was sticking to the windscreen. Comparing it to now, you can see that water is just running straight off that windscreen. It doesn't want to stick around. It doesn't want to stick on that windscreen. That windscreen is stupidly hydrophobic now, thanks to the Glaco glass sealant. You can see that water is just going mad to get off that windscreen. It doesn't want to be on there which is cracking if you want a really hydrophobic window sealant. Now they say at 30 mile an hour, the water will just roll off that windscreen, which is basically making it safer for you on the roads by getting rid of that water off your windscreen quicker. And also it helps with the window wipers. If you've got a really, really torrential downpour of rain, that will help get that water off the windscreen as well as the window wipers. They sort of aid each other, helping with the safety of you and your vehicle. So would I recommend this? 100 percent it's such an easy product to use and apply uh, anybody could do it just make sure you use the hose pipe to rinse off your windscreen don't use a pressure washer again unless you want to rinse the whole vehicle off or give the car a wash now all you need to do is follow the same steps that i've done on this windscreen around the rest of the vehicle to do the rest of your windows and then you have a fully sealed 
car. Now I've only done the windscreen on this because the rest of my windows on the vehicle are ceramic coated um, and I didn't really want to strip them off just to put this on. However, it has done a cracking job on the windscreen and since I applied it, I've been out in the rain and I can say happily that this does a fantastic, fantastic job at getting that water off the windscreen when it is raining. So guys, I have been the Hairy Housewife. You guys have been great. Make sure to check out all the other videos on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell, and I'll see you all again very soon.